All right, so let's take, take a look at these. These are the Xenon RS3S. The S stands for summer. Um, these are Cooper, Cooper tires. Uh, I, I bought these because my Michelins were right at the wear bar indicator. Uh, and why I didn't buy new Michelins? Uh, again, it's not because I'm not happy with them. I am, I actually really like them. But they're they're expensive, you know, 700 bucks it cost me. These ones cost me 350 bucks delivered to my house. And, and I'm gonna get them installed for another 80 bucks. So that's uh, let's see, 350 plus 80 is uh, 320. No, 330. So, uh, so, uh, it, excuse me, not 330, 430. So, four, 430 bucks for these versus Michelin's. So, uh, these are only what, so that makes these about 60% of the cost, right? So, uh, I couldn't pass it up. They were on, they were on clearance at the, uh, at the tire rack so uh, yeah so there you go this is what they look like they actually uh, they have a pretty decent thread pattern and blocks you know so this is the outside of the tire or outside of the car I should say uh, so bigger you know for cornering whereas the inside is a little bit smaller for you know rain and it has big big giant grooves for rain and actually the outside is a little bit smaller the middle ones are a little bit bigger um, so let's see how these these go. Uh, let's see where's the thread wear on them. Here it is. So thread wear they're rated at three hundred. You know temperature traction AAA. So you know so these are high performance tires. And their size is two fifteen forty five seventeen. Uh, so yeah so like I said they were on clearance. Uh, let's see how old they are. Here's the, here's the date code. So, date is 518. So, that's the uh, fifth week. Fifth week of 2018. So, these are, these are what? Uh, one and three quarters. What, like, that's, that's what, that's a year and, uh, what, a year and, uh, was it eight months, nine months? Uh, about a year and nine months so a little bit under under two years old whereas other ones actually this one's a little bit newer this one is 42 week of 18 so this one's only uh, only about a year old so so you know so basically the point is that these these tires are not not that old uh, you know because lots lots of times when tire rack has tires on clearance they're like five years old or whatever it is sometimes anyways so uh so yeah so i'm gonna be installing these probably within an, oh probably about another month or so once i get 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 down to the web bar indicator on the outside of my my uh my michelins um so let's do uh so usually when i get new tires i always like to do a weight a weight uh a weight, um, no, weigh-in basically. So here's my uh, little park tool uh, bicycle scale. So this thing could weigh up to 50 pounds, I think it is. That's it's, uh, so that's zero. Let's lock them in there. Let's see, so I think Tire Rack has these rated at, at 30. No, 20, 22 pounds, I think. 23 pounds. 22, 13. 22, 13. So, turn them off. Let's try that again. So, just under 23 pounds. It looks like. Oh. Jeez, my hands are shaky. God, my hands are shaky. I'm just at an awkward p position. Come on, stabilize. There it goes. So same thing. Oof. That's an awkward angle on my on my wrist and my hand. I couldn't hold it stable. Um, guess it was kind of hard holding it with one hand with my weak hand and holding the camera with my strong hand. I should have switched hands. But anyways, so just under 23 pounds. Tire rack has to miss it at at twenty two pounds. So so these are 
weight wise they're kind of typical I think for this size for the size tire uh, the one that stands out as far as weight is the, the Michelin uh, S4s excuse me 4S the Michelin 4S they are uh, they are lighter they're they're around 13 excuse me 19 pounds so so they're uh, about two or three pounds less three pounds less than these are so that's that's a lot of weight you know especially unsprung rotational mass and it's at the outside you know the edge of the of the of those spinning mass so that's a lot of weight that I'm adding on uh, so uh, so, so I'm not gonna expect these to be to perform as well you know it's gonna be it's that the actual weight will will make it a little bit slower in acceleration it's gonna be, make it slower in braking uh, the suspension it's how it how it uh, uh, responses to the road and bumps it won't be as as well either uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm expecting that that loss in 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 all those performance aspect um, but how much it's gonna be I'm not sure uh, but but I'm probably I'll probably know you know you know because three pounds is a lot of weight for tires uh, and I'll probably know right away uh, or pretty much right away I think um, but you know the price was right right so so I have to try to you know I just have to try these out if if I'm really dissatisfied with them I'm gonna you know get them balled and I'll probably I'll probably ball them out just as fast as I did with the last two tires uh, so basically around the same time next year you know these will be balled you know or worn out and I and if, if they don't perform as well then I will probably go back to the missions um, uh, compared to you know some other brand but uh yeah but again the price was right so so that's the initial look and once you know I'll do another uh, I do a couple more reviews I do another review when uh, after say uh, 500 miles just get, get the initial you know the initial uh, what it, what it, what it feels like. Then uh, then once they they once they once they reach the wear bar indicator, I would do the uh, the actual long term review and see see what the, what the results are uh, compared to uh, compared to uh, uh, the tires that I the, the last two tires the, you know, the Michelin's and the uh, the OE tires the uh, what were they called they were um, I can't remember the name, but S was it S zero zero seven? I think it is. Whatever it is, something like that. Uh, Bridgestones. Uh, those were those are horrible tires. The OE tires were horrible. The Michelin's are way better. So I'm I'm not expecting these to be as good as the Michelin's, but I am expecting them to be better than the 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 Dunlops, the OE tires, just because the blocks on here are you know are bigger. The OE tires, you know, it's it's small blocks. So they didn't, you know, they didn't have as as uh, as uh, 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 as good of a performance as far as cornering, cornering handling, and um, and braking goes. It wasn't as good, so I'm expecting these ones to be better. But we won't know until we actually ride it, right? Use it. Um, yeah. So that's it. All right. Thanks for watching.